Lawrence, we'll kick things off with you. I guess, you know, the big takeaway here is what exactly does rates need to come down to in order for more homes to go on the market come 2024? Oh, well, you know, the rates have come down. Uh, it was hitting 8% late October, now a little under 7%. So that will certainly bring more buyers. Now for the closing activity, because home buying process is not a snap decision where people just switch from one day to the next, it takes time, several months, you know, from the mindset change, from the sideline to considering mortgage application to mortgage approval, home search, contract approval. So it takes several months. So I think we will begin to see better home sales performance in a couple of months, but mortgage, low mortgage rate clearly has changed some of the dynamics already. Yeah, and you know, when we think about ultimately, Brad, where the new home buyers are also going to be playing a role in this, According to this most recent reading, first time home buyers were responsible for 31% of sales in November, up from 28%. And this also comes with a larger reading that we've been looking through on the inflationary picture that shows shelter costs are still the leading driver as of right now. And so all that considered, where will we eventually be seeing some of that kind of pullback? Uh, and, and I mean, a lot of this because it's baked in is going to be kind of longer run and a stickier side of inflation. So what is the expectation from the consumer side and the confidence that you'd be tracking there? Yeah, I think the the, the prices, uh, the consumer inflation in house prices is, is likely to continue coming down for, for quite some time, actually. I think the thing that uh, really um, is likely to hold back um, home buyers going forward is the concern that house prices may start to come down. It's nice to see uh, the the existing home sales up and it's nice to see mortgage interest rates down. That's gonna be helpful to people. But re what's really a, a problem is not just how high pr house prices are right now, but also the possibility that they may come down over the next couple of years. And, you know, when you when you think about 2024 and you think about the medium home price, we did see it roughly 387,000. I guess, Lawrence, a question for you. How um, how high will housing uh, medium home prices go in 2024? Do you think that we hit a peak already and we'll continue to see them come down? Well, I think, oh, you, you know, know the, the market, sorry, the, the, the house buying market has been stuck um, because people uh, don't want to um, uh, take on a higher mortgage interest rate and also because they don't want to recognize that the last year or so has really been sort of bubblicious in uh, in the housing market. And if they transact, they may be in a position of, of looking at a lower price than they would have gotten if they had done it, done it earlier this year. Um, it's hard to know sort of which direction we're going to go. Um, it's just the possibility of the downturn in house prices that I think is, is holding a bunch of people back. Lawrence, wanted to give you a chance to answer that question as well with the added thought of what is it going to take for additional existing homes to start to be listed? You know, what is the most unique aspect of the current housing cycle is that home sales have come down from higher mortgage rates. But even with the reduction in demand, we saw even greater reduction in supply. So simple economics of supply and demand, lack of supply is leading to record high home prices. We will hit another record high this year. The November figure was the highest for the month of November. So unless we have improvement, drastic improvement in the supply situation, uh, we will continue to have this multiple bid process. About one third of the homes in the recent transaction had multiple offers due to the lack of inventory. Now, interestingly, for the home builder side, because they are able to create inventory, they are getting more sales, which is implying that we need more uh, supply. We need more supply in order to fully satisfy demand. Brad, in your notes to our finance, you made a really good point about multifamily starts increasing by roughly 15% over the last three months. I always find it amazing how consumers, uh, new home buyers are looking to really, you know, make the most of what they're buying into. Do you think we'll continue to see this trend into 2024? And what are some headwinds that are driving this multifamily home starts? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we did see a pullback in both single family and multifamily home starts. Um, uh, partly because of the higher interest rates that developers are facing um, and also because of supply chain concerns. Um, so it's nice to see that recovery. That really is very important for the overall macroeconomic situation. 
as, as Lauren says, we do need more supply in both the single family and the multifamily parts of the market. Um, and, and, uh, and so I think going forward, it'll, there will be more opportunities for people to choose um, whether they want to buy um, and, and to get some more affordability in that part of the market or whether they want to rent some of the new, uh, new multifamily um, communities, including single family rental communities that are coming on the market. I think there will be increasing choices going forward. Uh, but in terms of the overall macroeconomic situation, the, the the recovery in home building in both the single family and especially the multifamily parts of the market are very important for the overall macroeconomic uh, situation. Lawrence, just very quickly, we've only got about 15 seconds here. What do you believe that the Fed is going to be looking for most notably within the homes market and the housing market in order to finally initiate at some point next year that pivot or that shift to cutting rates? Uh, so I think the Fed will cut rates by four times next year. Lower interest rate, interestingly, I think will bring more pent-up sellers to the market. Homeowners who have life-changing circumstances, I think they will begin to list property once the interest rate begins to come down. Uh, the cost of, re cost of giving up their low interest rate becomes less painful. Lawrence Yoon, National Association of Realtors, Chief Economist, and Brad Case, Middleburg Communities Chief Economist. Gentlemen, thanks so much for both taking the time here on the day. I appreciate it. Thank you.